record. Okay. Um, all right, guys, if you can hear me, can you just put a one on the chat box? If you can see my screen, can you also put a one, one, one on the chat box? All right? Okay, okay, all right. All right, all right. so let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, let's check gold now. Gold is actually doing what I expected. Well, this is an open position for them. They, still, they, they will still have to come back here to close. They have open positions everywhere in gold. Well, let me go through gold and show you some smart money candles on gold. So it happens all the time. Let me clear up all this. All right. So we can see that um, we have, all right. You can see that drop, drop, drop. Then this market goes up, comes down. These are just small, small plays. Like, you can just experiment on all these things on your demo account, first of all. You can work on all these stuff on the, sorry. That's all done. So you can work on all these stuff. Like, you need to practice these guys. Just go through your charts, draw your lines, see how price reacted to those points you are actually identifying. All right? So, for me, this guy up, up, up. This guy is actually going down, but they have to take they have to take out others before pushing it down. So you see, equal highs. What happened? Takes out. Then what happened? The candle closes below. Uh, USD JPY has just hit my point of wow. USD JPY, sorry. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, the GPY has hit that particular place. Okay. All right. So, all right. So, all right. So, let's go back to um, what I was saying on good, good, good. All right, so you see, um, all right, market took out these highs. Are you seeing these equal highs here? Here, here, like this market's going down, like everybody's expecting these stocks to go down, like selling, 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 selling. Like equal, you are seeing the engulfing candle here, down, down, down. So what happened? People are already selling here, right? People are already selling. So we have equal highs here, then what happened? The candle just went up, took out this high. Then the next candle just closed down immediately. So you just circle that place and you put a line there on the body and on the week. What happened? You can see how the market came down to this point, the body of it. How many people draw down? Six people and what? Potential of what? 200 and something. This one is even too much. So you can see how the market reacts. All right. Okay. 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 So we can actually see equal lows here, equal lows here. So this candle closed down. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. Like, they are everywhere. Put a line, you will see how price is just reacting to those places. Put a line on that place, you can see how price is reacting. Remember your stop loss is below here. It's below this point. Stop loss is below here, right? Potential of what? Okay, let's go down. All right, so right here, okay, right, you see, let's go back up. Are you seeing how many pips? You can see, let's spot another one, two on good. This is equal high, this is equal high here. Um, you see, this is, All right, so you see here, you see here, you see here, you see equal highs, what happened? This candle just went up, took out these highs. So this is my candle of interest. This candle that went the opposite direction. All right, so you see this candle that went the opposite direction to take out these highs, 
This is money, pool of money here, pool of money, right? It's everywhere. Now I come here, I put a line, the beginning of that candle that took out the highs. What happened? What are you seeing? Are you seeing the market does what? Closes below here, comes back to this point. How many pips draw down? Just about three pips or uh, thereabouts. Then potential of how many? 400. And it's even too much. This is too much. So let's just, um, there's no need calculating the number of pips you get after FU. It's just incredible. Like once you just get this FU, like the number of pips, you can't just calculate. It. There's no point, there's no point calculating all these plenty, 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 plenty pips. All right. So, um, okay, 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 okay. So what pair plan? Can you guys just put in one uh, particular pair you want me to check out on the chat box? So let's go through it. All right. Can we, can you just put a pair? Can we just go through it? So you can see it's happening everywhere. It's happening everywhere. Yeah, gold is making that, um, want to take out this lows here. Yeah? Then let's see what happens next. So we have an open position here. We had to sell to buy. We have an open position here. So go to see going to come back here. We have open order here. We have an open order here. We have an open order here. This is an FU candle. I have an open order here. So they will still come back here to come and close off part of this. So most times it doesn't happen immediately. All right, so guys, which other pair, which other pair, which other pair? All right, let me go to the chat box and see what I have here. All right, so I would have gone through, um, I can't recognize FU. Where, on what pair? Um, Luda V's concept or something. I can't recognize F and U, like, I, I don't get, I don't get, I don't get. On what pair are you talking about? What pair, what pair? What pair are you talking about? What pair are you talking about? What pair? Do you mark up the body week of the FU candle itself or the candle after it? Is the candle that actually took out the previous high? That is the candle. Remember, they have to buy to sell or sell to buy. So the candle that actually, you know, takes out the previous high or either, take, you know, hunting your stop loss, that is the candle you are marking. You are not marking the candle that is going your direction. You are marking the candle that went the opposite direction. Okay? I don't know if you get, like, this candle went the opposite. You have equal highs here. You can actually see equal highs here. If you, if you actually get what I'm saying. This is actually what? Equal high, you see, rejection. There are people that already started selling these points here. People that started selling. And there are people that place buy stops above here. Like, if this market goes above here, this market will continue going up. So it's, it captures both, both sides. People that are already selling, they'll put their stop loss above here. It takes out their SL. People that set buy stops here, it takes out their, it activates their order and goes in the opposite direction. So this candle that actually does this thing here is my FU candle. So you can actually switch to uh, a lower, term, like a higher time frame to actually see what happened. Right here, right here. Okay, okay. Now, see? All right, so you see this candle here? I switched over to four hour time frame. You can, you can switch to different time frames to, to spot these things. All right, so let's say you see this is the candle that went this opposite direction, and the next series of candles did what? Close beneath it. So, this is where you are putting your line. On the body of the candle or the week, you see, this is where you put your line. This is your point of entry. The body or the week, this is your entry point. Green. It closes below here. Then what happened? The market does what? Comes back. You just have to wait for this candle to close beneath this one. Here. This is what you are waiting for. Wait for this candle to close first. Then if it closes below, ahead, then you are not waiting for the mitigation here. This is your sniper point. You just have to practice this thing. This is your, your, your entry here. This point is your entry. So you enter off at this point. Remember your stop loss is above here. You just had how many pips draw down? 20 something pips draw down. And what? You see the move to the downside. So it happens. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. All right. Let me go back to the chat box and see um, the pairs. Uh, 
okay um do you mark up the body okay i've answered that because you marked the next candle all right which currency i i, I thought everybody's on mute right let me see oh oh sorry sorry so i don't know what happened it's actually automatic once you join everybody's on mute so i don't know how that one okay all right sorry sorry about that okay so uh, let me get back to the chat box. All right. Oh, so which currency pairs do you normally trade? Like, you know, um, where the big boys actually want to trade? Those currency pairs like GBP pairs, USD card, all those big, big pairs. That is where you see most of all these FU stocks. All right? You will see most of all the like, USD JPY, um, USD chef. You are going to see it on USD chef, Euro pairs, Euro, Euro USD. You are going to see it. Although I don't trade Euro USD. I don't know why. I trade more, more of a Euro AUD and Euro NCT. So this thing works on all those major pairs, like major pairs. So let me go back to USD card. Uh, let's go to USD card first of all. USD card, then we'll go to NCT USD. USD card, um, and, uh, sorry, USD card. All right. USD card, USD card, USD card, USD card, USD card. Sorry, 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 sorry. The network is kind of slow now, so just hold on a bit. It's raining heavily here, so it's raining heavily here. It's raining heavily. Oh, God. Damn. Oh, guys, sorry, sorry, guys. I need to change the position of this. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. So, USD card, someone requested for USD card. So, this is USD card. Let me clear off everything. So, USD card, we still have like a mitigation play. All right, USD card, let's go to the one hour time frame, first of all one hour let's let's just spot out those points let's spot out those let's spot them out all right so okay usd card what am i what am i um looking out for i want to see highs i want to see equal highs i want to see the market taking out the highs and doing what Okay, I want to see the market taking out the highs. Okay, like you see something like this. We have equal highs here on USD card. So this is, uh, you know, this is a commodity pair. Like when this guy moves, this guy moves like it moves, it moves. So we can see equal highs here. You can see. So this market just creates this two. I see. It came here. What? It came here again. I see. Double top. Came here again, how many? Triple top. Came here again. So the more it creates this particular level, just know that <laughs> they are actually accumulating here. Accumulating, accumulating, accumulating. Now they are creating these virtual levels for retail traders and every other person that trade a different way, a, the normal way everybody trades. Like you see, it's an equal highs. Everybody will start selling here, yeah? That, that's true. Yes, you can make money out of it. I'm not saying that selling off these points are actually bad, but um, most times you just have to be careful. All right? So if you can hear me, can you just put a one on the chat box? Because I, I had a, a kind of a network delay. So I don't know if you, you guys are still following. So if you are still getting me, can you just put a one on the chat box, please? If you are getting what I'm saying on the USD card, can you just put a one on the chat box? All right, all right, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so back to what I was saying. So you can see how this market was just doing what? Creating resistance, resistance, resistance. People are selling, more people are selling. Like when it becomes too obvious, you know that more people are actually selling off these positions. Selling off these positions, selling off these positions, selling off these positions. Are you saying? Then what happened? The candle just went opposite direction and boom, dropped down. All right. So that is my FU candle. 
uh, let me go to the chat box again. Let me see the questions there. Um, uh, don't worry, I'm going, to, I'm going to switch it. I just want to identify these points first for people that want to understand um, these concepts, all right? So this market is actually what's creating equal highs here, yeah, creating equal highs. So we have a lot of liquidity here. So we see we have pools of stop losses here. People place their stop losses here. So people that sold here, boom, it came back, break even. Sell again, bam, bam, break, break even. Came down again, ah, we're actually going down. Came here again, break even. Then what happened finally? It went the opposite direction. Sorry, sorry about that. It went the opposite direction. And um, all right, now to actually see this thing clearly, that's why you have to switch between time frames. To see the particular time frame that gives you that clear candle. I don't like this particular candle here, like all this one hour candle, they are, they are just too choppy for me. So that's why you have to switch between time frames to see which time frame gives you a very clear candle of a clear breakout and moving to the opposite direction again. So you can see this one actually has a, um, too much uh, weeks and all that. So but if I switch back to my, if I switch back to four hours, so you can see what happened here. You see four hours is very clear here. Four hours is very clear. Are you seeing? Um, all right. So we have here, this, this, this guy here takes out, comes here again, does what again, takes out. So we, we, we can have, FU and FU and FU and FU, FU upon FU. So you have them, but for this particular one here, they've not mitigated out of this particular position. All right. So we have different, um, all right. So you see this guy went up here, came down here. All right. Went up here again. So you can see these points. This is my FU candle, the body and the wick. Boom. All right, you see? So it's just like, uh, they missed it by just they've not mitigated out of this position yet like they haven't like they haven't they haven't i'm still waiting for it i'm still waiting for it i'm still waiting for it all right so if you want to take it this this candle uh let's switch over to two hours time frame so let's see how before this particular move happened uh two hours candle all right so we can see this two hours candle here two hours candle body week so let's see let's let's go to this place this is how this trade house guys this is how they thought this is how this is it this is it so they have multiple candles here multiple candles just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we? How did you get the and the buy entry? I don't, I don't get the question. All right, so let's continue. This candle was actually the candle that took out these previous highs and closed below this point here. So this candle here, this is my point of interest here. This candle here, I'm interested in this candle. This candle here. There's, there's somebody responsible for this particular move. You see? You see? This candle here, I'm interested in this candle because of what? What happened? This candle just went up, went up, one, two, three, then just one, two, close below this particular point. So this, this candle's here, I'm interested in this candle's here. So you see? The first mitigation of this buy candle, what? They came here, boom, then drop down. But this other one on the four hours, I still want USD card to come up to this point. USD card, um, USD card on the four hours. This is this is my point of entry on USD card. This particular one here, this point here. This is my sniper point for USD card. Although it's not going to happen now. You know how USD card does. It accumulates and accumulates and accumulates and accumulates. Are you seeing what they're doing here? They are accumulating 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 so this is what is happening here now we have um 
we have we have equal highs here. Are you seeing? We have equal highs here. We can call this um this please just hold on, hold on, please, hold on. Are you possible questions? Let me just let me just go through this stuff and uh, take all the questions. So we can see this box here is what? This is accumulation. So price is actually accumulating here. You see? Accumulating up, down, up, down. Remember, there are stop losses here. There are stop losses here. And they have a candle they have to close off right here. So this is this is how this is what I'm expecting from USD card. Although I'm not on this trade, I'm not buying, I'm not selling. I'm just waiting for them to do whatever they want to do here. They're actually accumulating. You can see, you can see this box. The more they accumulate, the more <laughs> the more the move is gonna be like the move is gonna be massive. I see the accumulation. It might it might stay here for weeks. Then what happened to just come here and break this particular level here? Resistance, people are already selling here. Come here, mitigate off their position. And um, this is my point of entry for USD card. So I'm waiting. All right. So you come here, clear these SLs right above here. People that are already selling here, they will take out the orders, grab liquidity, close off their position. Below here is also liquidity. Come here and close off this. We have um, stop losses placed here. So just understand how this market moves. All right. When it becomes too obvious, if the Melendez always says, um, just be careful. When it becomes too obvious, like all these levels, everybody is seeing this level here. Everybody is seeing this thing here. Everybody is seeing it. Everybody is seeing like here is support. Are you seeing? Here is resistance. People are seeing it. You are not the only one seeing it now. We have retail traders now. We are people looking at this point now, this place. This resistance, this resistance, this resistance. Okay, all right. So remember how smart money works. So um, they have to get back to this place to mitigate. So right now I'm not buying, I'm not selling USD card. I'm waiting for them. All right. So this is just my markup. I, my markup is not that complicated. I just mark up the FU candle, mark out the accumulation phase. Price is accumulating here. It's accumulating right here in this box can call it consolidation, whatever. Um, so this is the other block. If you can do smart money, went up, came down. They have to close off this position because they are still in a drawdown, All right? So I expect them to come here, then drop it down. Okay, so let's go to the um, next pair, which is um, US, NZD, NZD card. The last one I'm gonna go through now, NZD card. So just go through your chart and practice the stocks. It happens um, on GBV pairs. Happens on GBV. Wow, mitigating, mitigating, mitigating. GJ, GJ, goodbye, goodbye on GJ. Good morning, good morning, GJ. GJ, GJ, bye, GJ, bye, GJ. Nice one, nice one. We can we can spot it out right here. It just happened right, right here. Are you saying? All right, it closed below here. Boom. We're buying, bye, GJ, bye, GJ. All right, uh, GBP, yep. this is not complete. This is not complete, but for GJ, GJ is, GJ is, is, is cool, man, it's cool. This is, this is what I love. I love this, I love this, I love this. All right, all right, so NCD card. Um, really, really NCD card. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, all this space, eh? We don't really have much. We don't really have much, much, much things here. Yeah, much if you play, more if you play. We don't really have. Uh, well, let me see. Let me see something else. Goes down. It goes down. Let me see. Mark up. Just hold on. The first line is um. First one is uh, what body. Weak body and fifty percent. 
but fifty percent happens on GBP pairs most times. It happens on GBP pairs most times. So fifty percent of this candle. Oh damn! It's taking lights. So fifty percent of that candle, the body weak fifty percent. Those are the trade points. All right. So fifty percent, which is my blue line, blue, 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 blue line, NZD. I've not traded this pair, sure, but I just. All right, just so done. All right, so you can see how this guy, all right, so we have three points of entry. Like if it takes you out on, um, all right, so you can see how, are you seeing this candle? Are you seeing how it's respected all this place? So remember your stop loss is usually below here. So you can see something like this. That's why I have to practice. So when you just see them, you know that it's happening. So even if you entered off at this point here, it gave you a drawdown of how many pips? 18 pips. 18 pips. You see? At a 50% level. Let's say you entered right at the body or the week. It gave you a drawdown of 18 pips and potential of what? 85 pips. So smart money is everywhere, guys. Smart money is everywhere, guys. Smart money is everywhere, guys. So you see? Ah, you can't decide TQ. Ah, whenever you are you are satisfied with what you are getting, you close. Oh. Um, I can't tell you where to collect TPO. So if you want to be taking 50 50 pips or 30 30 pips, or just know that you should have a trading plan. That's just it. Just have a trading plan. Have a trading plan. What do you want to take out of the market each time the market? comes to your to your point of entry. How many pips do you want to take out of the market? So that's what you should be more interested in. How many pips? Me, I adjust my, my take profit. I, I open, most times I open two positions. I open two positions, I take my first 50 pips. I adjust my stop loss to break even on the second one. So in case the market comes and knocks me out, no problem. So always, um, Decide what you want to do. I can't tell you that. I can't tell you how many people you need to take out of the market. So, all right? So, something like this. This was news and this is, this is not, this is, this is, I don't like this kind of candle. I don't like this kind of candle. Like, it goes up, then blah, 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 starts playing, 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 playing. I just need that sharp move up, then return back. All right? Okay, okay, okay. I think I'll be wrapping up now. That should be the end of this. Uh, we are still going to um, go through other. We are still going to go through other, you know, setups. Um, maybe next week, but this is just um, a kind of recap of what happened, what has happened in the past weeks, and um, what is happening now. So. Um, I think that should be all right now. Is there any other question before I wrap this up? Is there any other question? Is there any other question before I wrap this up? Is there any other question? All right. So just go through your chat. Just look out for, look out for, um, are you on Telegram? Yes, I'm on Telegram. I'm on Telegram. Yeah, just, you just go back to your chat. Remember this smart money play, it happens. Are you seeing, are you seeing mitigation point? Yeah, right, we are talking about that. Are you seeing mitigation play, right? Yeah, closing of this position here on the USDJPY, USDJPY, USDJPY. So you see, are you seeing? Closing off mitigation, mitigation. So you see, right? It's happening, it's happening everywhere. It's happening everywhere. They need to come back to that position and close off their positions. So that is where you are actually entering the trade. Right? Right? So um, let me just give you one bonus. Let me give you one bonus. Sorry. The bonus will be on um, GBP card. GBP card. All right. GBP card, um, GBP card. All right, um, 10 minutes more. All right, GBP card. A bonus, so just watch. Um, this is four hours, one hour. Now, 
I usually, um, you see how this candle came here? All right, see now. Most times it's tricky. It's tricky most times. All right. So this market opened with a gap here. Remember? This market opened with a gap here. See here? This market opened with a gap. Remember that everybody will start buying to cover this gap. Okay? Then what happens? This market just starts going the opposite direction. My screen isn't showing. Haba. Wow. Sorry, sorry guys. I didn't know that. Nobody nobody indicated that. Oh, is it showing now? Can you just put the one one on the chat box? Is it showing now? Is it showing now? I'm just rounding up now. This is a uh, all right. Is it showing now? Just put the one on the chat box. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So now GBP card, GBP card, GBP card. Now see. When the market opened, the market opened with the gap. Now everybody is like buying, 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 buying to fill up the gap. What happens? You have to push it down a bit. Okay. Now see, there's actually an imbalance here in the market. There's an imbalance here in the market. See, from here to here, this is imbalance. This is where I got the imbalance here in the market. Imbalance. So you see, um, this was actually the imbalance. From this place here, this candle here, price slipped up, imbalance. There was no corresponding week. There was no selling opportunity here, right in this candle. So this was an imbalance. So the market just came down here, boom, filled up the imbalance. Are you seeing this candle? Now everybody will start selling this guy. This guy here, you are seeing this candle now. This candle is actually uh, like it's a sell candle now. So. If you want to go using break and retest, all right, so you can see this. <laughs> you can see this actually, this is support area. This broke down below this point because people are already buying here, right? People are buying off that position. Ah, please, I can't, I can't cover imbalance now. I can't cover imbalance now. I'm just on FU. Maybe during, uh, during the week or weekend, I will still, I will still, uh, Organize another class based on imbalance. Imbalance, okay. So this market filled an imbalance here. Then you see this support area. This place was actually support. This place was actually a support area. Just hold on. Something is covering my toolbar, okay. So you see, this is support here. Yeah, people already buying here. What happened? This candle just came down here and closed right here, okay. Immediately this candle closed, I started buying. I didn't want to wait for mitigation because this was actually a bullish move and I have um, a gap here which has to be filled. So this market has to fill it. Now, my first point of interest was the gap here. So immediately this candle closed down here, I started buying to fill up this gap. Then also considering mitigation, if you can do, I put this thing here. Remember the candle that did what? The candle that went the opposite direction, take out the lows, which is here, which is this low here, this low here, this low here, this low here. I will just come here and put a line. Then I wait for them to come back to it. This is the line. All right, let's go to the future. You see? Are you seeing? This is my sniper point. It happens all the time. Like, it happens all the time. You see? Sniper point. Snipe it, snipe, snipe, snipe. See, based on that FU there, how many pips draw down? It's not even much. I got about 100 pips. So you decide how many pips you want to take out of the market. You see, it mitigated and what gave you how many pips? 100 pips. So thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you guys. We'll still meet. I'll still have our other classes um, to show you more of this FU candles and imbalance. Okay, all right. All right, thank you, thank you guys, thank you guys. If you actually gained um, value um, from this call, can you just put the fire emoji? All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I'll be going off now. All right, thank you guys. Thank you guys for joining the call. 
Yes, I'm on Telegram. Oh, we will meet in the group chat. I'm on Telegram. Yeah. Yes, I'm on Telegram. I'm on Telegram. All right, guys. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pixel. Yeah, I got the fire emoji. All right. Okay. 